name's Alice from Discover AI. At Discover AI, we specialize in Power BI for the environmental and water industry. And in this video, I wanted to explore how we can use the new Icon Map Pro Visual in Power BI to visualize WMS layers. Um, and I'll walk through an example of how we can use it to dynamically visualize uh, these raster layers of koala habitats across New South Wales. So you can see that we can toggle on all the different regions and dynamically display these different uh, rasters. So um, if you're not using power, uh, the Icon Map Pro Visual just yet and you're still using the free Icon Map Visual, um, please refer to my previous video on visualizing WMS layers in Icon Map. Uh, but the Icon Map Pro is a new and improved version of Icon Map, which has loads of new features and even more mapping capability. But to take advantage of these features, it does come with a small license fee. But you can test drive the visual using an unlicensed version to explore it first. Uh, you can learn more about it at the dedicated Icon Map Pro website, which has a ton of examples and really detailed tutorials. Um, and like the original Icon Map, the Icon Map Pro includes the ability to connect to a WMS hosted spatial layer. So for those of you who aren't familiar with WMS, it stands for Web Map Service, and it's a standard protocol for serving georeference map images over the internet. So this is really good for allowing us to access publicly available um, spatial files of really um, maybe really high resolution spatial files like rasters in our Power BI reports. And I stumbled across this on a recent project where we had some really detailed um, raster layers, which were modeling outputs, and we wanted to display them dynamically on our maps in Power BI. And you could imagine just how slow it would be if we tried to convert um, our rasters into polygons and display using WKT. Uh, we did try this approach, but we ran into all sorts of performance issues. And this was a really neat solution where the client was actually able to um, host these as WMS layers, and we can really quickly and easily connect up to them um, using the icon map. So today I want to walk through an example um, using the publicly available New South Wales Koala Tree Indices layer, which is available um, on the New South Wales Seed website. Um, so I've got a link in the example Power BI um, file, which I'll be sharing, but I'll just open it up here. So here you can see um, that it's available online as a WMS layer. And this is an example of what it looks like. So, but first, what are the key steps of um, displaying this in the Icon Map Pro Visual? What I might do, because I love uh, rebuilding things from scratch, I'm just going to hide this existing map and show you how to create it just from scratch. What I've done is I've imported um, the Icon Map Pro Visual from the App Source. We click here. And to get the visual to render, what we need to add in is an ID field and then any other um, of these fields. In this example, I don't actually want any of my data in my data model to um, be interactive on this map. I just want to display the WMS layers. So I've just got a, um, another uh, just table with different data in it. I'm just going to bring in catchment for my ID and maybe catchment for a circle size. You can see here that I'm just taking a test run of the icon map. Um, Pro Visual, which is really great. You can actually test all the features and then head on over to Microsoft App Source um, and purchase a license for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in to our WMS um, region that we're looking at. We're going to look at um, New South Wales down here. What I might do is turn off the auto zoom as well just so it doesn't keep zooming me over to the UK. Cool, and now we're ready to go. So once we've, um, once we've got our base Icon Map Pro Visual um, plotting in Power BI, what we need to do 
is find our WMS layer. So let's bring that up again. As I mentioned, we're looking at this koala tree indices layer. And if I click on this link, this is where we can see the XML file uh, behind the scenes of the WMS. So what we need to do is identify the WMS URL. So we can see that it's here. I'm going to copy it all the way up until the question mark. And if we go back into our Power BI report and select our Icon Map Pro Visual, what we want to do is navigate to the Format Your Visual Options. So this is where it's slightly different to the original Icon Map Visual. Uh, we can find it under Overlay and Reference Layers. We have to toggle on the WMS layer. And under the WMS configuration, we can paste that server URL um, into the location here. And this is actually really cool. It allows us to um, select what layer we're interested in from this really easy drop down menu. So if we're just interested in visualizing, uh, say, one static layer, it's super easy. We, all we really need is that WMS server URL and it will find us all a list of all the layers in the file and we can just select whatever it is that we're interested in. But in our example, if we want to have the ability to dynamically choose multiple layers at once, what we need to do is toggle on this manual configuration option here. And um, this is where we need to know a little bit more about the WMS configuration. We need to know behind the scenes, what are these layer names? You can see that it changed from being a friendly plain English name to just being this um, integer number. So if I change that to four, we could see it plots a different region. So if we go back to this WMS file, what we're actually looking for there to drive that information is the name, the layer name property. So if I search for name in the XML file, we can see here that this layer name is layer name zero. Um, and this is what it's called. It's called the Koala Tree Index South Coast. And if we keep scrolling down, then we've got uh, the next layer name here, layer name two, uh, layer name three, and so on. So in this um, example of this WMS file, the layer names are defined as uh, just integers, um, but all files might be different. So we just have to know that information. So if we want to um, dynamically drive this visual, then what I'd recommend doing is just in your Power BI report, creating a table which lists out all of your um, WMS layer names like I've got here and I've got its plain English name as well so that we can toggle it on and off using a slicer. And then all we need to do is write a function which concatenates these together uh, because we'll see here to actually display multiple layers all we have to do is comma delimit these uh, layer names together. And we can do that using a concatenate X function. So in the um, earlier video, having a look at the icon map original version, um, I walked through how we could create this using a quick measure. Um, so I'll quickly show you again for those of you coming across this for the first time. Um, here I've got the quick measure options. If we didn't want to write the concatenate X function, we could um, use the quick measure for concatenating a list of values. Here, what I'm doing is just dragging in that ID field, which represents the layer name of the, um, of the WMS. And the number of values I want to do before truncation. In my example, I know that I just have 10 layers. So I'm just going to do 10 and add that in. So we can see here what the function looks like. You can see that it um, creates us a list of values delimited by a comma and a space. We actually don't need the space. I'm just going to delete that. Press enter. And now what we can do by clicking on the FX option
going to select that new measure, which um, we just wrote together there, and bring that in. And we can see if we've got our, bring my slicer all the way to the top. If I select everything, then we can see all the layers now are toggled on. Or we could just um, dynamically select whatever layers that we're interested in. So this was a really quick video just exploring how we can visualize WMS layers using the Icon Map Pro Visual. You can see that we've got lots of different um, additional options uh, within the Icon Map Pro Visual as well for styling, custom parameter values, um, authentication options as well. So it's really worth exploring, exploring these. So I hope you found this helpful um, and maybe you've got a use case for your studies if you're trying to display um, really high resolution spatial data or you've got some existing WMS layers that you want to bring into Power BI. If you have any other environmental or water related or mapping challenges that you want us to take a look at in a future video, please don't hesitate to reach out. We're always looking at exploring um, new and interesting ways to visualize environmental data in Power BI. So thanks so much for listening and we'll see you next time.